Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new. and your girl's just been putting it off putting it off but right now today we're here filming this video for you guys so if you haven't already make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe right down below it's big red and free you can't miss it follow your girl along on her mommy on a journey i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are here because you're upcoming first time moms as well and you want to know the tea on having a newborn baby so your girl got you covered my baby girl is now a toddler so we transitioning into that little toddler stage but you guys can go back and watch my welcome to motherhood playlist which includes all of my videos with my baby girl Girl as a newborn get yourself caught up educated all of that good stuff i'll have it linked in the eye above if you want to go check it out so in today's video we're going to be doing a what you do and don't need as a, a first time mom with a newborn of babies i'm gonna spill some gems in here everything is based off of my personal experience so what i needed or what i used may not be the same for you guys these things could still be a little bit helpful because being a first time mom is low-key kind of stressful there's so many things that you can buy so many different gadgets for your baby and you just don't know what you actually finna use when a woman first finds out that she's pregnant she just wants to go out and buy everything for her baby don't even know what the gender is but you want to buy <laughs> and before i start off this video i do want to give this slight disclaimer this is not me telling you what to do with your baby if you want to go out and buy your baby 200 nike shoes that he or she is only going to be able to fit for two months that's your baby girl don't let anybody tell you otherwise anything that you see that you like you got the coins to buy for your little one i'm all for it baby because i know me and if i see something i know my baby like just go ahead and swipe my card <laughs> be sure to follow me on all my social medias they'll be on the screen and in the description box and before we do too much talking because this video is already going to be real talkative we're just going to go ahead and get into it <laughs> so first off we're going to start off with the things that you don't need just because i feel like that's more beneficial to know than the things that you do so first thing on my list is a wipe warmer i'm gonna have a picture of everything on the screen so you know exactly what i'm talking about this is like hit or miss i haven't sat down and watched a dedicated video to things that new moms may need since i was pregnant so these are just off the dome things that i know i didn't use maybe i had and just collected dust as far as the wipe warmer it's up to your baby i know a lot of moms use it in the middle of the night sometimes a cold wipe can like shock your baby like i mentioned especially when you're changing their diaper at night that can cause a lot of fussing a lot of commotion in the middle of the night so a lot of moms like to use wipe warmers to of course warm it up a little bit before they wipe their baby but i'm here to tell you maybe it's just a wipe warmer i got or maybe it's just the wipes that i use i don't know i had a whole bunch of different brands i tested out they not really all of that when i tell you the the wipe is warm inside of the wipe warmer but as soon as you pull the wipe out it touches the air it's right back cold i'm really not understanding how moms got to use it because when i started to use it it was probably like a couple of days and i was just like i just threw it to the side because it's like at the end of the day it's still cold yeah it's warm in the wipe warmer but when i go to wipe my baby it's right back cold to me it's really pointless honestly babies only get used to things that you introduce them to if you never introduce them to a warm bottle you never introduce them to a warm wipe they're not gonna know what they're missing out on so just don't start it number two on my list is a pregnancy pillow i can't even lie when i was a little smaller i really did enjoy that pregnancy pillow i slept with it 24 7 after a while when your girl belly got bigger sleeping started to get a little bit uncomfortable that pillow was just in the way it ended up just getting tossed on the floor in the middle of the night yeah i need as much space in my bed as i can get that was like the size of a whole nother human and i just yeah mm -mm. for one it never even stayed put i don't know if it's just because i'm a wild sleeper but as i moved around in my sleep the pillow never stayed in position it wasn't really helpful it wasn't really beneficial because it was never in the position i needed it to be for my back and my belly to be comfortable to be honest you could really just use the pillows that you already have on your bed number three i have pacifiers now some people really don't want to get their baby started on pacifiers so they go through the whole newborn infant stage without it which kudos to y'all because mm -mm, as soon as 
when my baby get the fuss in right in her mouth. The only reason I have this on my list is just because depending on your baby, they may be a little picky. Certain pacifiers, they may not clean. So you done went out and bought all these different type of pacifiers. Your baby only likes this certain one. I would just say wait on it. Maybe get one or two packs. Then when your baby gets here, you see whatever works best for them. And you can go stock up on those. So the next thing on my list is a formula. I don't know if everybody does this, but I know my baby daddy did it. He just went out and bought whatever formula i guess was on the shelf <laughs> i don't know what was going on in his head but i told him eh, you shouldn't have did that because <laughs> now he has all of this formula still to this day sitting at the top of his closet that we couldn't even use as i was stating you don't know your baby until your baby is here so you don't know if your baby's gonna have gas problems you don't know if your baby's gonna have digestion problems anything and everything you just don't know if you qualify for wick wait till you get your wick save your hard-earned cash formula is pricey <laughs> just hold off until after you leave the hospital because with sonny she ended up having to be on soy milk because they ended up finding out that she was lactose intolerant so all of this similac formula that he ended up buying we couldn't even use because because our doctor prescribed her neutrimogen just wait i know it's exciting you want to be prepared you want to be stopped but it's not really considered prepared if you bought all of this stuff that you can't use. Number five, I got a sound machine. Yes, a lullabies are like an essential for babies, especially when they're going to sleep, especially in that newborn stage when they're waking up three, four times throughout the night. But YouTube is free, you guys. Anything and everything that you want to find is most likely on the tube. YouTube has lullaby sounds. They have rain sounds. They have nursery rhymes, fish aquarium scenes for the calm aesthetic. There's no need to go out and buy a whole machine when you have a TV right there on your wall on your nightstand in your room you don't gotta worry about batteries it cutting off within 30 minutes there are videos that are literally 11 hours long that you can play throughout the night free of charge now if you do this i do recommend to buy youtube premium just so you can have the ad free option and it'll play all the way through without stopping and asking if you're still watching but it's not necessary i don't pay for it just skip the ads don't skip my ads though please <laughs> next thing on my list is another pillow the boppy pillow i feel like this can be a hit or miss but for me it sounded cool and all when my baby was hungry when my baby was sleepy it just wasn't on my mind to go run and get a pillow i just fed my baby or i just rocked my baby to sleep i honestly can see how they can be beneficial official it's just it's just not convenient if you're in the living room and your boppy's in your room and your baby's hungry you're gonna go run and get your boppy to feed your baby i feel like it would be a little bit more beneficial as your baby gets a little older and they're learning to sit up on their own and things of that nature because then you can have it just propped up on your couch your baby laying in it you have a little blanket underneath their neck bottle propped up you can do what you need to do a baby free bada bang bada boom but i feel like in the newborn stage it's really just a hassle next number I don't even know y'all. This is something that I didn't even have myself because I just already knew it was kind of pointless. A changing table, y'all. There's a lot of people that gets it just to have that cute little nursery aesthetic crib, a little changing table on the side, you know, just have a nice setup. But honestly, they just a waste of money and a waste of space. Nine times out of 10, all the mom vloggers that I watch that actually have one, they don't even use it. It just sit there, collect dust, collect laundry. <laughs> like I was stating earlier with the bobby pillow, if you're in the living room, your changing room is in your baby's nursery. Your baby just poop. You telling me you finna run all the way to the nursery or you getting up out of the comfort of your bed in the middle of the night, 3 a.m., to go put your baby on that changing table to change their diaper. Is that what you telling me? Because I don't think that's what you're telling me. No, you're going to lay them right up on that couch, lay them right up on the bed, and you're going to change their pamper. It just gets used as another storage unit. When it comes to newborns, it's really just convenient. And a changing table is not convenient. It's not portable. It stays in a one spot. So anytime you change your baby, you will have to take them to that one spot to get them changed. I just feel like there's no point. And the last thing on my list is that baby Frida nose cleaner. All I can say is they don't work it's not even just my experience i've talked about this with a couple of my mom friends as well when sonny had got sick that little machine does absolutely positively nothing <laughs> the electronic suction doesn't do anything but bring the boogers to the front it doesn't suck it out it doesn't clean it you still have to go in and take the boogers out yourself i'd rather just clean her nose out with a tissue get a little pair of tweezers 
bada bang bada boom booger out and honestly it's not really comfortable for babies as well you're gonna have to go through world war three just to clean your baby's nose i feel like as a baby this little vacuum going towards your face going towards your nose like i'd be scared too so if you guys do want to get a booger cleaner i would say to go with the manual one i haven't purchased or used that myself but when i was talking to one of my mom friends about the electronic one she said the same thing happened to her so she returned and she got the manual one with the straw it's a lot easier for you just to suck it out if that's your vibe go ahead and buy it i ain't do it because that's low-key kind of disgusting to me i just go ahead and get a q-tip use some tissues tweezers call it a day now on to the things that you need first thing on the needs list is a sleep sex when i tell you these are a game changer they're a lifesaver all of that in one it is so much easier changing your baby in the middle of the night or in general when all you have to do is zip down a little zipper pop their legs out change that upper put it back in and zip it right back up you don't gotta worry about unbuttoning the bottom of a onesie and button it back which is a whole little problem in itself you don't gotta worry about taking pants off and sliding them back on depending on your baby diaper changes can be a little <laughs> so sleep sex just make it 10 times easier if you have a wiggly mover if you have a baby that just cuts up and fusses during diaper changes it's just a one and done type deal it's also essential for newborns because as a baby you're just used to being all wrapped up and bald in your mom's stomach so when you have a sleeping set it just reminds them of being back in the womb and it helps them sleep a little better Tiny was a little kicker and she also never kept them socks on so with the sleeping set you ain't gotta worry about none of that next thing y'all this is like my gold mine right here my bedside caddy if you don't have one you didn't make one you need to run to the store and get the items and put it together when i tell you this is the essential you don't take anything from this video just know that you need a bedside caddy as you can see majority of the problems with newborns is the sleeping schedule and that's like the majority of the worries and when you have a designated station right next to your bed it just makes things 10 times easier you have the diapers you have the wipes the baby powder medicine bottles anything that you may need to help you not get up and run around the house in the middle of the night like a chicken with their head cut off you put right there at the side of your bed and it's just easy access i made a whole tiktok on things that i put in my bedside caddy i may go ahead and insert it in this video everybody's is different you can customize it to your liking all i'm saying is just get a bedside caddy <laughs> bedside diaper caddy first time mom essentials in medicine we have butt paste hair care and nail clippers inside we have baby vicks grip water soothing gel for teething then a bin for extra pacifiers to the right we have pacifier wipes medicine syringe and thermometer off-brand haka three birth cloths and a nose frida three different size baby bottles newborn diapers and wipes in wash we have vino calming comfort cleansing water by mustela baby dove calming moisture body wash johnson johnson's baby bar baby magic gentle wash avino daily moisture arm and hammer fragrance free and finally johnson and johnson's bedtime wash in lotion slash moisture we have vino baby lotion baby powder by perfect purity baby dove sensitive skin oil avino stress relief lotion and johnson and johnson's baby lotion self-explanatory we have all her bath towels and face rags then the last section is laundry we have hands and face wipes and shout stain removal wipes drift scent beads a all-purpose cleaner and baby detergent which all came in a set then a bottle of drift laundry stain remover last but not least we have drift and tied to go stain remover pins and that's what's in my and mine is on wheels so it doesn't even have to be a bedside caddy it can be a couch side caddy it could be a kitchen side caddy a bathroom side caddy wherever i need it to roll it right along with me next thing is real controversial but we gonna talk about it but i'm here to let you guys know that you're gonna need diapers this is like a little common sense thing but a lot of people start off saying when you first have a baby don't overbuy the newborn diapers. I'm here to tell y'all to collect and buy any and every size diapers that you can. They say newborns grow quick and you won't even need the diapers. They won't fit it for that long. Blah, 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 whatever. For one, not all the time. Sometimes them babies still be in the newborn diapers at three plus months. Sonny was still using her newborn diapers at three months. Don't let nobody discourage you or tell you otherwise. Because even if they do grow out of them diapers, you can always 
take them diapers and exchange them for a bigger size. Like, babies need diapers for the first year and a half to two years of their life, and they are pricey. If you didn't know, I'm here to tell you. <laughs> you finna spend some coin on some formula and some diapers. So I say stock up on as many diapers as you can, no matter the size. And I honestly didn't end up buying Sonny some diapers until she was about like six months because your girl had hella diapers stacked up from her baby shower. Make sure if you're having a gender reveal, baby shower, whatever it is, to bring white, bring diapers. At the gender reveal, a lot of people do if you think it's a girl, bring wipes, and if you think it's a boy, bring diapers. Do something along those lines. Get as many diapers as you can and stack them up while other people are buying them. So when your baby's actually here, you don't have have to worry about all that you have a stock full number four is a car seat that connects to your stroller when i tell you guys this thing saved my life saved my back it saved a lot of things a lot of you guys had a lot of questions where i got sonny's old car seat and it was actually from walmart you guys it came with the car seat stroller bottom and it also had like a newborn car seat for like the laying down option i love that car seat 10 out of 10 i'm loki real sad that we had to switch to the permanent car seat it's so much easier going out out shopping doing whatever you got to do with your baby and all you have to do is take the car seat out and connect it to the stroller base if your baby is asleep you don't got to worry about waking them up they can just stay in their car seat as you push them around in the stroller I'm also noticing a lot of places now are changing the shape of their cart because I know my Walmart's now I don't really know how to explain it but the seating area for the kids or a lot taller so so you know how most people put their car seat at the top of the cart yeah her car seat didn't fit on the new cart so it was just easier having something that automatically connects together and put your baby in the stroller go in the store do your little shopping come back out put the car seat back in the car like your baby didn't even have to be touched bother any of that but if your baby's on the way you or somebody that you know already went out and brought a car seat that doesn't connect to the stroller or if it's just too pricey for your pockets right now i would definitely say get a baby carrier maybe this is just me because i see a lot of moms like doing it no problem no struggle but their car seat was too heavy for me to carry around so when i did take her out of the car seat and i didn't have the stroller i just strapped her to my chest with the carrier walked in the store just like that newborns are way too small to sit in the grocery shopping cart and like i said them car seats are too heavy or they just don't fit in the carts anymore so it was just easier for me to put her on my chest and walk around and do my shopping plus sonny liked it to be carried anyways got that skin to skin bond to calm her down most of the time when she was in that carrier she just knocked out right on my chest and your girl still had her hands free next on my list i have a bottle rack this just makes washing bottles 10 times easier you don't want to put your clean sterilized baby bottles with your other dishes so it's just nice to have a designated area as soon as you get done washing out your bottle rinsing it out you just Prop it right up on the rack. And also when you go make your baby's bottle, you know exactly where those bottles are. You don't got to go digging through the dishwasher, digging through dishes just to find your bottle parts. It's right there set in a designated area. Next thing we're gonna talk about is Mustela water. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Y'all clowned me in one of my last videos a long, long time ago when I was mentioning it because I pronounced it wrong. I just looked it up on YouTube how to pronounce it. So if this is wrong, I don't wanna hear it. But Mustela water is basically just a non-rinse soap for your baby. Cause as newborn, you don't get baths every day. You don't get baths every other day. So to have a wash that is no rinse, you just wipe your baby down and bada bang, bada boom, they all clean yeah <laughs> chef's kiss so i definitely recommend that product your girl loved it it smelled amazing even if you don't get that specific brand i'm just letting you guys know that's what i use i just recommend getting a no rinse wash because babies are real dirty yeah they cute and they just adorable but they spit up they throw up spit poop they pee everything so it's nice just to have something you can wipe your baby down with anytime anywhere i guess that also goes along with the birth cloths as a first time mom i didn't even know birth cloths existed i just knew about bibs pacifiers and bottles birth cloths what is a birth cloth something that you need as i was stating babies are real messy real i don't want to say dirty but dirty <laughs> birth cloths are really just essential for any time whether it's feeding or you just going out for your daily activities bring a birth cloth with you because you just never know when your baby's tummy's going to get upset with whatever they ate you're out and your baby just all over their new outfits. I had to learn the hard way. 
please bring them everywhere you go. Put it right underneath their neck when they're feeding. Just like a bib, keeps all the little drip. Next thing on my list is also one of my top tier essentials, a travel bassinet. I love this. When Sonny was little, I used it every day, all day. Anytime Sonny went to sleep, took a nap, whatever, that's what she was in. And as a newborn, they can't lift up their head, roll over, anything of that nature. And when you put them in it, they're gonna stay put. And I just loved it because it was like she could sleep anytime any place and be right here with me without me having to worry about anything getting to her falling or anything like that or when she was or when she was little and she slept with me instead of doing the cold sleeping that everyone low-key be kind of scared of because there's always what if type of factor it was like we cold sleeping but we not really cold sleeping like i found a loophole in the system yeah she's sleeping with me in my bed and i don't have to get up in the middle of the night to go to her crib and get her but she's also not sleeping with me because she's in a designated sleeping area that has borders there's no rolling out of it me rolling on her suffocating her anything like that i was so upset when she started moving around and able to roll and climb out of it because because that was my little my rock right there she was thick and thin i was my girl and y'all the crazy thing is i had a big bassinet for to sleep in she just never slept in it she stayed in a portable one so next baby i definitely will be purchasing again <laughs> and the last thing on my list is a portable fan to connect to your car seat connect to the stroller get your baby a portable fan especially if you live in these hot states like me we in florida that heat don't play when you're going for walks at the park you have the fan blowing right in your baby's face you ain't got to worry about them overheating get them little heat bumps because truth be told babies get hot i know parents don't want to hear it they want to bundle up and sock slippers hats scarves gloves everything babies get hot so it just gave me a peace of mind to know my baby is getting some air wherever she goes also my car doesn't have any vents in the back seat there's only air vents in the front so i literally have to blast my ac just for the reach the back of the car meanwhile my baby is barely getting air i'm up in the front freezing so i definitely do plan on getting a new car soon but for now that fan definitely comes in clutch but that will be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you got a couple of pointers a couple of tips going into your new motherhood journey if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe follow me on all my social medias they'll be on the screen and in the description box if you guys want a part two of this video let me know in the comments i'll definitely make sure to get that out for you guys this video was really based on things for the baby so if you want me to do another video based on things for mom like things you would need after labor for yourself personal care or things around that let me know but until then i'm gonna see you guys in my next video good luck on everybody's journey and welcome to motherhood